you all are welcome to this video in the previous video we studied how to solve equations reducible to a pair of linear equations in two variables in today's video we will look at some examples based on this solve the following pair of equations if this pair of equations is written like this then you will observe that this is not the form of a pair of linear equations because ax plus by plus c is not equal to 0. Can you tell me what can we do to solve this pair of equations? That's correct. Just by some important replacements, we can change this pair of equations into a pair of linear equations. If we put 1 by x minus y is equal to m and 1 by x plus y is equal to n in equation 1 and 2. So, we will get equations 3 and 4, which represents a pair of linear equations in two variables. We can solve this pair of linear equations by any of the methods. You can pause the video and try to solve these equations. On solving the equations, we get m is equal to 4 and n is equal to minus 1. We replace m by 1 by x minus y and n by 1 by x plus y. On solving further, we get equations 5 and 6. On adding equations 5 and 6, we get x is equal to minus 3 by 8. Similarly, on subtracting equation 6 from equation 5, we get y is equal to minus 5 by 8. Therefore, the intended solution for the given pair of equation is x is equal to minus 3 by 8 and y is equal to minus 5 by 8. Putting the values from equations 1 and 2. We verify that x is equal to minus 3 by 8 and y is equal to minus 5 by 8 is the only solution to the given pair of linear equations. Let's look at some more examples. Ruchi covers some part of the distance from her school to home by walking and the rest by taking a bus. The total distance is 14 kilometers. If she walks for 2 kilometers and takes a bus for the rest, then she takes half an hour to reach. If she walks for 4 and takes a bus for the rest of the distance, then it takes her 9 minutes more than before. Find the speed of Ruchi and the bus. Let Ruchi's speed be x km per hour and the speed of bus be y km per hour. We know that speed is equal to distance by time. Accordingly, time is equal to distance by speed. Therefore, according to the first situation, Ruchi will take 2 by x hours to walk and 12 by y hours by bus to cover the distance. This way, Ruchi will take T1 plus T2 is equal to 1 by 2 hours to reach home. This gives us equation 1. Similarly, situation 2 gives us our second equation. You can see that Equations 1 and 2 are not linear equations. If we write equations 1 and 2 in this form, replace 1 by x by m and 1 by y by n in both the equations, 
Then we get equations three and four. By solving equations three and four, we get the value of m as one by ten and n as one by forty. Now we know that m is equal to one by x and n is equal to one by y. So this gives us the value of x as ten and y as forty. Hence. Ruchi's walking speed is 10 km per hour and the speed of bus is 40 km per hour. In this video, we saw some examples of how to represent equations in the form of linear equations in two variables. In the next video, we will look at the common mistakes made while solving such questions.